so I'm just going to talk about meat eating and the, the use of animals for food. Okay, I, I just want to get it straight right now. I'm not a vegetarian, okay? I'm not a vegetarian. I would be a hypocrite. And maybe you're going to think that I'm a hypocrite for speaking this way. Um, I do eat chicken and I eat pork. Not a lot, really, but I eat chicken and I eat pork. I don't like eating cows. I shouldn't feel bad for everybody, but I feel especially bad for cows. They're so docile and unsuspecting. And they don't deserve what we do to them. Neither does anyone else for that matter, right? Okay, so I'm not vegetarian. I'm not vegan. I eat eggs. Ultimately, I'd like to be able to not eat meat. I have found, though, for my body, though, if I don't have any meat for a while, I feel like there's something lacking. Like, I feel symptoms similar to anemia. Maybe I just need to increase my, my iron load or my iron intake. But then you know what? I actually did that before. I, I went vegan for a while and I started to get really anemic. And I thought, oh, okay, I'll just go and get some tablets, iron tablets. And I was looking, I got the tablets and I was looking at them and I, they're like a dark red, dark rusty red iron color. I was looking at this pigment in this tablet. I opened it up and I was looking at it. It looks a lot like dried blood. Dried blood. Where do where do these vitamin companies get their straight iron supplement resources from? Where do you get that much dried powdered? Edible iron. Nice. So I, I don't know. For me, maybe I'm crazy, right? Now I'm crazy. I just thought, well, I'm, I'm make, making such an effort not to eat animals, but how do I know there's not animal parts in, in this the supplement that I'm taking? Maybe it's dried blood from a slaughterhouse. You know, is right? I mean, think about it. This is. They butcher animals to cut them up and sell them as meat. What do they do with all that blood? Will they just let it go down the the chute? All that blood goes down into the, the sewage system or the plumbing system? I bet you at some point someone thought, wait, what can we do with that blood? What can we do with all that blood that's leaving the slaughterhouses and the butcheries? Hmm, maybe we could... I don't know. I don't know. I'm just I'm just thinking in a capitalist way, right? Because that's how the world operates. We have a resource out there. How can we use it? How can we package it? How can we sell it to more people? Right? Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm crazy. I I, I really I hope I am. But I don't know where where they get their iron from, and they don't exactly state where it's from on the box. So anyway, so I just thought, you know, here I am. I'm trying so hard not to. Not to eat animals, and, and then I go and buy a supplement that could very well be powdered blood straight from an animal. Essentially, I'm kind of a vampire, aren't I? My particular body requires animal iron intake or something. I don't know. I, 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 maybe I haven't studied this enough and I really need to get into it. I'd like to be wrong. I don't want to be a vampire. I look like it. Anyway, yeah, back to meat eaters and vegans. So I, I just want to establish first of all that I, I am not a vegan, I'm not a vegetarian, but I really respect those who are. If, if you're doing it, if you're planning your food and you're planning your meals and you're getting in all your nu nutrition and and you're able to get through the day and concentrate well and you've got like high energy, hey, respect, you're doing it right. You're doing, you're the next human, you're the next step in human evolution. 
I'm not joking. That's great. Congratulations if you're able to do it. But I just want to uh, have a word for uh, meat eaters. I've noticed like a lot of meat eaters, they, they liken themselves, like maybe they feel bad about eating animals every now and then, but then they rationalize the fact that they eat meat. They rationalize the fact that they eat meat too. If they were an animal in the natural world, they'd be a predator. They'd be like a lion or a tiger or a leopard in a tree waiting to catch its kill. Hold up, you're not a predator. You never were. What you are, really, and I am too, is a scavenger. Scavenger. S-C-A-V-E-N-G-E-R. Scavenger. Do you know what a scavenger is? It's an animal that does not kill its own meat. It eats what other animals have killed. So, like, when a lion goes and kills it, or a lioness, it's usually a lioness and her and her sisters or her her team of other female lions, they, they do the hunting. Okay. They go and hunt something. They hunt a buck or they hunt a deer. And they pull it down and then they eat it and the other ones, the little ones eat and, and the males eat as well and it's all finished. And then they, they, they get up and they walk away. And then who comes next? It's usually the vultures, right? The vultures that have been circling up in the sky, seeing this kill, going, ooh, the lion scored today, yes! Let's fly on down in like about half an hour and we have a feast for ourselves. That's us. That's us. We are the scavengers. We're the hyenas. Hyenas are also similar. They eat the dregs of what other animals have killed first. If you have not killed the animal yourself, to eat it. You're a scavenger, okay? Don't liken yourself to these predators that live day to day and hunt and hone their skills. No, a lot of the time we're on the couch with our bucket of chicken wings watching TV series, right? You can't call yourself a predator. You're a horizontal scavenger. Horizontal, that's shape, okay? That's what you are, and nothing else. And I'll call myself a scavenger too. But we need we need to look hard at ourselves. You can't like build up your self-image on something that's not really true. Okay. So we need to work with that. So if you if you look if you romanticize the idea of meat eating to like, oh, in, in the scheme of things, I'm the lion. I'm the tiger. Rawr. I hunt and kill. No, you don't. No, you don't. In fact, a lot of people who hunt and kill are usually doing it for fun. And then if they were doing it to a human, they'd be a psychopath or a murderer, right? Yeah. So just a word to the wise there. Don't kid yourself. Scavenger. <laughs>